Welcome, in front of me is a Xiaomi 13T Pro and today I will show you how you can record a screen on this phone. So to get started we're gonna pull down our notifications like so from the very top of the screen. Now let's see if it actually matters, yep it doesn't matter which side we pull it down from so you want to do it from the right side and we will have the toggles right here and we're looking for the screen recording one which is on the second page as you can see right over here once you see it you can simply tap on it it will give us this overlay at the bottom giving us a couple different options so we have the close right here we have settings folder which uh, shows us all the screen recordings that we've captured and obviously the red circle is the start recording button now i am going to start off by navigating into the settings just so i can see how it is set by default and we have resolution which is set i believe to the highest one that we have right here on the device now we have video quality in megabits per second then we have orientation system sound and frame rate i'm going to check the change the frame rate to something more reasonable like 60 uh, and also because of that i'm gonna higher the make the bit rate a little bit higher to 16 megabits which uh, i believe will be probably more of a sweet spot for this resolution and frame rate now the way you can figure it out which bit rate you want right here is once you start recording and for instance you're recording gameplay so you start panning around in the game so you have like quick camera motions and you see on the screen recording once you play it back like these uh, blocky areas where you have just more of a blurry block on the recording and that means that you might want to increase the video quality right here make it something like 32 or oh, 24 will be the next one uh, and see if this still persists if it does again go higher now i don't recommend going to the maximum like for instance 100 megabits per second because that will significantly increase the uh storage that the minute of such a recording will take so uh, keep that in mind basically this shows you how much space it will be taking uh, so 16 megabytes uh, per single second so obviously multiply that by 60 this gives you uh, one minute of recording size obviously with for instance things like the 100 megabytes per second that's quite a lot for a video recording at this resolution especially for the phone's storage and like i said it's not nearly nearly necessary to go that high just because after i believe something about 32 you genuinely won't be seeing any kind of difference in the video quality anyway i'm gonna close this now and start recording Let's open up Netflix. Now as you seem to stop it, you just click on the red square. Uh, now, the reason I actually stuck with Netflix right here, uh, just as an application to showcase opening it up, is because Netflix is one of those special snowflakes that has a little bit too much control over your device. Which you will see in a second what I mean when we go to play back the screen recording, which we can do by navigating into the gallery. And it's going to be visible right here as the very newest recording, but you can also navigate to albums and we'll have a screen shots and screen recordings album. And in here you will have two different tabs. So you might want to switch to screen recordings and you can see here you obviously see all the screen recordings that you have captured over the time. Now let's play back. So you can see uh, we have the Netflix logo and voila, nothing else. Now you probably also remember that Netflix showed us a bunch of content right here, which we don't actually see. We close the application and uh, well and behold, you can see the home screen. So just to explain what just happened, uh, Netflix is one of those Conti applications that can uh, block your screen recorder. Uh, so what you will be presented with is a fully black screen. Now this is, uh, they're using a feature of Android that is designed to uh, basically protect you as the user um, so this would for instance in a optimal scenario work for applications like bank apps which it does and the reason you might be 
you might want this on your bank apps even though it prevents you from recording them it also prevents any kind of uh, spying applications to basically peek into your bank app and see for instance what pin you're typing in or anything like that so you're basically more secure with such a feature now where you're not really secure because it doesn't give you any kind of additional benefit is in the netflix and any other streaming application that has the ability to basically block your screen recordings they're they're doing it to protect their wallets not you and obviously try to prevent piracy it's not like they're gonna succeed but i guess they're trying by invading your privacy in a way because let's be honest that's none of, none of their business what you're doing on your own device and neither should they actually have the ability to do such a thing or you shouldn't have or you should at least have the option to disable this if you choose to but you don't so if you ever encounter such a recording just know you have absolutely zero control over it fantastic now, with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful, informative, and if you did, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching.